Shalom, praise the Lord. I hope that you are okay this morning. My name is Prophet Yvonne Mosimi, and I just wanted to share something at conversations with the prophetess. It has been so long before I shared on this segment, and I've been talking to some of you who say that they love it when I did conversations with the prophetess. And so this is conversations with the prophetess. about grief because I've been going through grief as uh, all of you know or some of you might know I lost my mom about 60 something days ago yes we've been counting and um, I have come to understand some of the things that probably no one could tell you about grief and one of the things my counselor told me is that grief will be very personal and grief will give you perspective I didn't know what she meant at the time, but I can see what she what she meant that sometimes when you're going through a uh, deep pain and deep trauma, you get to have a lot of time of reflection. You get to realize the soul meaning of life. And I pray that if you're watching this and you're going through pain, you're going through drama, you're going through one of the things that will make you, you know, just want to be alone, just want to cry it out. One of the things that it will do is give you perspective. There are two spectrums of it. You may cry your way to healing and you might cry your way to depression. How I pray that the Holy Spirit will help you no matter what you go through. But one of the things or well, the lessons that I have come to learn and appreciate is that, you know, love yourself. You can spend your whole life living your life for other people. But you have only one life to live. Love yourself. Um, love and um, take care of your peace of mind. You don't have to l bring everyone near you. You don't have to bring people who are dramatic around you. Um, love on you. Love on you. Make decisions um, favoring you and i feel like this is has been um misunderstood and misconstrued as being selfish but after all if you don't take care of yourself who will it has been misconstrued as selfish you've been told to you know care about everyone we've been taught about that and it's awesome it's wonderful but <clears throat> having lived a sh maybe a short life I'm almost um almost nearing forty, and I can say that in my life I have seen uh people who are older than me, people who are younger than me, who have made up their minds to um sacrifice it for others in this season, I have learned that it is important to sacrifice for yourself as well. That as much as you are serving others, it is important as a person to also set aside me time, your time, and to vote for you. Um, there are things that we have told ourselves in our minds. And when I was leading prayer on Wednesday night, one of the things that I was saying is, I pray that God helps you to dissociate with the things you have agreed, the negative things you have agreed in your mind about yourself. Some of you have agreed that you will never amount to anything. Someone said it, you agreed to it. <clears throat> Some of you have agreed that this is your lot in life to go through pain. It's your lot in life to meet people who are untrustworthy. It's your lot in life to, you know, go through hurdles every other time. I don't know what negative thing that is in your mind, but I want you to dissociate with it. So number one, I said, vote for yourself. 
you know we've just come from an election in kenya and I, and, and it's something that the holy spirit has been also teaching me that if push comes to shove you know who votes for you who stands by you but then you'll be surprised how few the queue is when it comes to your mental health when it's come to your spiritual health but there almost nobody cares that's the reality that's the reality the people have become so self-absorbed self-consumed that even if they care they just don't have the time to reach out and when they say they will they never will and so if you live your life being defined by what people do for you or at you then you will not succeed and so one of the training that the holy spirit has been training me is how about you treat yourself better how about you love yourself better and how about you cut yourself some slack and vote for Yvonne, vote for Millicent, vote for Irene, vote for Peter. And start making decisions that are good for you. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Since I had not scripted it, I was just preparing for the convocation. And I just said, let me just record this. And I hope it makes sense for you. And that you'll be able to prepare for the future. If you're my age or maybe younger, we still got time. We still got time to get our act together. Think again, um, dream again, and move forward. And by God's grace, once you start loving on yourself, when you start cutting yourself some slack, guess what? Everyone else starts cutting you some slack. I don't know how it happens. It's almost like it happens miraculously that once... You cut yourself some slack. Once you start giving yourself priority, once you start loving on yourself, it's like everyone is like, oh, so we are loving on Yvonne. So we are cutting her some slack. Oh, so we are also entrusting her with this because she herself has started trusting herself with things and positions and authorities. So if you don't do it for yourself, no one will do it for you. If it's positions you're looking for, if it's grace you're looking for, if it, whatever it is, Start by doing it for you before someone does it for you. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.